Mike from Party 4 Crafts. Today I'm going to be testing doing a tumbler on the RA2 Pro rotary in the X-Tool S1 40 watt diode laser engraver. I'm really not an expert in rotaries. I've only used it a couple times and just for my review videos. I'm just not a, I don't get a lot of business for tumblers. I'm more of a design person. Uh, I sell my SVGs, so I haven't done it very often. Uh, so I watched a, a video to see how to put it all together and set it all up. And I think I have it. I have the chuck on there with the long metal pieces to hold that. Uh, it's a slanted side tumbler, so that's gonna. I, I focused it on the middle, halfway between the thickest part and the thinnest part. We'll see how that goes, and I've seen some settings that I think are gonna work. I have a design that I've used in another CO2 laser that I reviewed that did not work well, and uh, we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna close the lid up there. Put in my settings. All right. I'll show you what it looks like when you frame it. All right, that's what we have there. Framing completed and I already set the perimeter. The perimeter, which is the same thing as the circumference, I measured it with the tape measure that's included at 255 millimeters, and then it automatically does the diameter. I measured the distance with the probe, and I think we're ready to go. So I'll click process. Looks good. Click start, and here we go. that this is going to take a lot more time than it should because I did not union the entire design together so it's going to do it one word at a time which means that it'll have to do one word, go back to the next word, go back to the next word. I should have combined everything together before starting. That's it. I got a lot of fans blowing in the background. The hose didn't quite reach the window, so I'm trying to get that smell of burning paint out of the room. Uh, so that took 22 minutes, but that was my fault. Again, I didn't union, so it did the word wine, then it did the word laugh, then it did half of a little, and then a lot, and then the other half of a little. Didn't have to take that long. Probably would have been six or seven minutes if I had unioned it. So I'm going to pull this out of here. I forgot my tool ran off to get that. Alright, so before cleaning it, there's how it looks. It's looking pretty good. I'll go clean that with a magic sponge, maybe some alcohol, and I'll be right back. Alright, there it is after cleaning pretty happy with that. There's a couple of dark spots like you can see there on the L that may have had the, the power too high. 
A little bit of the G there, and the L and the E. But like the word wine is perfect. So. Oh, there's a little bit of the W. So I don't know what caused that. Probably setting may have gone too high and damaged the metal underneath. But for first try, just guessing at settings, that came out pretty good. Pretty happy with that. All right, so that's the X Tool S1 40 watt laser engraver with the RA2 Pro rotary in it. And it has the rollers and it also has the chuck. You can switch between the two. Uh, it has different kind of clamps that you could put on the chuck to hold different things. I could have uh, put the plastic ones in and held it from inside there or put those in and held it from outside there. I put the metal ones on the inside because it, it seemed to work really well. All right, so that's it. Wine a little, laugh a lot. All right, it's Mike for Party for Crafts. I'll see you next time.